for Tim Bobby Carrillo. Here. Commissioner Ramiro Caballero. Present. Commissioner Daniel Chavez. Here. Commissioner Ricardo Medina. Present. And Commissioner Itza Flores. Present. Move to excuse absent members. Second. We are first and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Hello, do we have anybody signed up for public testimony? No. no? Moving on to public hearing. <laughs> we have the second public hearing for the solicitation of comments from the general public on the 2019 tax year proposed property tax rate for the city of FAR. Do we have anybody? All right. Moving on to item 3B, public hearing, solicitation of comments from the general public on the budget fiscal year 2019-2020. Anybody sign up for... All right, moving on to item four, consent agenda. All items listed under consent agenda are considered to be routine, not controversial. Move to approve. Second. We got a first and second. Any discussion or anything? I just want to let the public know that we're out here right now raising our rates on the water in order to improve our sewer system, uh, our water system, and our drainage system. <laughs> that have been, uh, are starting to get a little bit um, dilapidated over the years. And it's something that we just wanted the people know, the reason why we're doing this is to improve our city as far as making all our services to where they need to be to provide the proper services to the people here and far. We, uh, we try to do it without this, but as people know, with growing pains, everything seems to cost more. People have a 1,500 square foot home and then they get a 2,500 square foot home. Well, obviously, your maintenance always ends up being more expensive. The cost of uh, just your utilities and everything go up. So that's kind of what's happening here in the city of Far right now. And uh, just to rest assured, we will be letting the public know what uh, what we're going to be doing on the on the different uh, infrastructures, on the, and it'll be throughout the city, not just the south side downtown or the north side of town it's going to be throughout the city of far so i just want to interject that with and if anybody has would like to interject then we have i would like to say some stuff some comments and ahorita en el área de sus de fada tenemos muchas pompas de leaf stations desde naje que ya están muy viejas y lo hemos visto que cuando llueve mucho en aquella área vemos que que el sanitario el agua negra sale a por muchos lugares y eso es porque Las pompas que tenemos ya son muy pequeñas, como dijo Bobby, uh, el sus de FAD y toda la de FAD está creciendo mucho, que necesitamos que mejorar la manera como manejamos ese sistema. Y para eso es este aumento en, en, en el bill del agua, es para, para acomodar las necesidades que ya tanto faltan, hacen allá en el sus de FAD, no nomás en el sus de FAD, también en el norte de FAD, pero sí quisiera en, ser empeño que sí son muy necesarias para el área de sus de FAD, pues que yo lo he visto cuando ha llovido mucho, que he manejado hoy alrededor, veo yo como las aguas negras de, del sewer salen para afuera. Uh, y tenemos fotos, yo lo he visto, me han llamado y he ido a ver. Y es por eso, uh, y como dice Babia, como ya vamos pasando más el tiempo, vamos a poner fotos y, y lo que queremos hacer allá para el área va a ser un, un gran proyecto que va a ayudar al sur de FAD a seguir creciendo, especialmente en el área del, de la industria y también a cómo va creciendo el comercio de aquel lado y las casas para tener un mejor sistema de, de drenaje y también de agua. Anybody else? Yes, uh, just for further clarification for our community. The city of FAR has been going through, in a, through a great uh, rate of growth in the last four years and this growth has basically exceeded our capacity to respond in reference to the capacity of water availability to our city residents. We are going to reach a point where we are, our water plant is no longer able to uh, fulfill our needs as, as residents of the city of FAR. So in order to be proactive, in order to be able to meet our future needs in the city of FAR, we have to invest, and our city needs to invest a significant amount of money in order to make sure that our supply is adequate for the next uh, 10 years uh, approximately. So the, the rates are, are going to be increased because it is necessary. It is not something that is wanted by anybody. I mean, we all live in the city of Far. We're all going to have to pay ex more money for our, mm -hmm. and our water bill. But if we want to continue our growth, 
and uh, our <coughs> progress. It's something that has to be done, and it, and it is the responsible thing to be done by us as a commission. Thank you. Uh, again, just to re, uh, all the commissioners have said so far, um, uh, we've been very blessed that the city of FAR is growing. People are coming. Businesses are, go uh, are growing here in FAR. And it would not be proper if, you know, we did not, the city itself infrastructure didn't grow with uh, the growth of the city. Uh, we're not looking just like uh, five years, ten years. We're lo actually looking, you know, up to 20, 25 years from now. Uh, for the growth, and again, um, Eliasar was completely correct. And you know, this you know, we have to be proactive. Uh, we not only have to fix infrastructure issues that are corroding and that um, are you know need maintenance. Uh, we have to create more systems, like um, uh, Danny said. And at the same time, we have to double our reservoir for our water treatment plants as well. And if uh, we'll be blessed when the city of Far grows more and more. And again, we would not be um, doing the city a justice if we did not take this upon uh, for for development thank you yeah, I'm good. okay uh, at this time take a vote all those in favor aye. 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 aye unanimous at this time also uh, we're the city of far has collaborated with the <coughs> PSJ Southwest on some projects in the south side of town well now we're bringing Raider Nation into the into a, our northern infrastructure project and if you could please come to the front Ms. Diaz I'd greatly appreciate it with the students that are going to be involved that will be working directly with some of with the with the engineers that will be overseeing the project and uh, we'd like to welcome you on this uh, great endeavor we're going to be our, our PSJ North students will be working with our here in the city of FAR okay Good afternoon, uh, elected officials. Thank you for having us here this afternoon. I am Lisa Diaz, the principal at PSJ North Early College High School, and I have only a few of the students that will take part in this endeavor. We are very thankful to the city for allowing us to partner with you. The uh, experience that our students are going to gain is invaluable. Uh, partnering with you on this infra infrastructure project, uh, the planning stages and seeing it through uh, is wonderful. I can only imagine the experience that they will gain. Uh, the best part, as we were discussing on the way over here, is that we have some sophomores, we have a junior, and we have a senior. So they will start with you in the planning stages, and then hopefully our sophomores will see it through once it is done, because we know that this does take time. It does not happen overnight. But again, we uh, are grateful for the opportunity uh, that our students will uh, be able to to see and witness and take part in firsthand. And uh, they each have uh, something they would like to say. Definitely. Hello, I'm Emily Garza, and I am a sophomore at PSJ North. I'm really excited to get to work with everybody on this project, and I'm ready to expand any of my horizons and learn new things and know exactly what an engineer does. Thank you. Hi, my name is Yamara Edwards. I'm also a sophomore at Raiders, and I'm just really excited to gain this experience because of the fact that it's something new and it's something that we haven't really been through before, so I'm looking forward to it. Hi, um, I'm Alex Rodriguez, and I'm a senior at PSJ North, and whenever our principal introduced this idea, I, um, I really got interested in it because uh, I grew up in FAR, and seeing all this stuff happening with like flooding, it's, it's not really a fun view or a good view to just see. And um, I was interested whenever she introduced the idea. Uh, hi, I'm Eduardo Lemos. And um, like Ms. Diaz, I am very grateful that you've given me the opportunity to do this. Um, personally, to know how it is flooding-wise in uh, Far Texas, uh, I'm grateful to be part of the team to solve the problem, and I am, I jumped at the chance when the Ms. Diaz um, told me that I have a choice to do this. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. I think all of us are really excited also doing this uh, joint venture with, and I think we're going to name it the uh, Raider Nation uh, Northside Infrastructure Project. Mm -hmm. So you guys will have it labeled up for you all, okay? Thank you all for coming this afternoon. We really appreciate it.
right, moving on to item 5A, consideration action of any on declaring the drainage ditch improvements along Moore Road as an emergency construction and authorized city manager to negotiate and enter into a contract not to exceed the budget amount. Move to the nine. Second. Here we got a first and second. Uh, I just want to ask a couple questions. First, uh, it was, I've seen the, pro I've seen the, the area. I see that they, it was brought on as an emergency construction. I'm just real curious on staff, do you all feel that is, is that an emergency or is it not an emergency? Uh, it definitely, this is Omar Ansalua, City of Far, City Engineer. There is some uh, safety issues there with the, uh, the guardrail itself. I think uh, Public Works is taking measures to mitigate uh, you know, the steep slope right there. That's mainly the emergency as far as any of that guardrail is being kind of loose and mm -hmm. someone can hit that and fall into the ditch. Uh, I know Public Works been out there uh, this last week and been uh, working diligently to try to backfill some of that area. But that the emergency, it is an emergency from a standpoint that it's a safety issue with that uh, de the eroded canal. Okay, yeah, I know it's been, I went out there. The, the guardrail is basically hanging by a thread. I mean, somebody leans on it, they're going to go down and then somebody's gonna get hurt. I'm just real curious, how long do they expect this project to be completed? Um, we have, um, for the record, Ricardo Pedraza, uh, we were uh, scheduled for the end of the week for weather permitting. We had uh, Omar approach me on August 22nd. Uh, we started on the 26th, we already added riprap. Um, I have pictures here if you wanna see of everything that we've done and we're ready, we're ready, ready to put down the gravel bedding for the pipes and backfill and uh, what, we're what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a more than a 30 foot uh, clear zone so then the metal beam guardrails, according to the road, uh, texas roadway design standards we won't have to have a guardrail there a guardrail there anymore so we're going to have enough uh so road clearance on so you're it. telling me this project is going to be ready by next week yes weather permitting i know that we're going to get some weather uh rain on uh, on thursday and friday but we're we're in line to get it done at the end of the week if the weather doesn't hit us. Before. And it's going to be a hundred percent in house. Yes, hundred percent in house, and we already have all the materials on hand from the previous previous director had purchased pipes and stuff. So we've been using all those materials, and we have everything on staff. We have everything on hand. Okay. So we're using all uh, uh, public works materials that are ha we already have on hand. No nothing's going to be purchased for this. Okay. Because my understanding of the. The project, I, was, I went out there, that's why I know it was hanging by a thread, and I see the procedures that's being done right now. And I've, overse I've been over looking at a lot of the construction projects around. Is it being done properly? To yes. Text, to text that standards? Yes, sir, it's being done properly. We built the base with a concrete rip rip on the bottom, and we're adding a, a line base that we have, a reclaimed line base, and we're gonna be building up uh, three to one slopes and we're going to be installing the pipe and then that's, I don't know if we're going to do a head wall uh, but we're not going to need to have a head wall there if we do that like what we're going to extend the pipes to a 30 foot clearance <coughs> so okay. if, a car, if a car if a car say a car uh, uh, meanders off the road or something they're going to have 30 feet to to recover so that's typically what the Texas so we're not going to put a guardrail anymore and oh, we're, we're going to we're going to keep the guardrail there but we're not going to need it we're just going to keep us there okay Okay. Well, next week we should see it completed. Yes, my okay. staff is working yeah. right now. Can I have is there anything we can put right now instead of having that cut rail um, hanging? We got uh, traffic safety is putting water barriers. Water barriers. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna run a, a water barriers all across there. Temporary, right? Temporary, yes. Okay. Anybody else? All those in favor? Aye. 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 I vote negative. I vote against it because I, I feel it's an emergency and it should be expedited. But mo motion carries. All right, moving on to item 6A, consideration action of any on award of contract for the construction of a Northside Aquatic Facility. On, let me get to the item. Um, I think uh, it's item 6A. D. Wilson. Who yeah, is, uh, yeah, yeah. Wilson. I'm just getting to the item real quick. Sorry. The, um, you know, we've uh, been working on this project for, for some time. We went out for bids. We did get some folks to respond. And the final negotiated price was with uh, D. Wilson. Uh, the, the final negotiated price for the facility was $23,165,208. And staff is recommending that we award this contract to D. Wilson. Can we have a motion? Got a motion? So approved. Second. second. We got a first and second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 
Aye. Unanimous Aye. motion carries. Congratulations. That's it. Is that it? Motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Second. Second. First and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Meeting adjourned. You all have a good afternoon. Thank you. How long is that? How are they going to let?